G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are taking a look at every LEGO icon slash creator expert sets in this video and I'm going to be giving my investment thoughts on these sets, so let's get straight into it. So as I just said, we're going to be looking at every LEGO Creator Expert slash Icon set. The reason why I'm saying that is because all these sets were Creator Expert themed, but they have changed the name of that theme to LEGO Icons as of June 1st. So technically they're all LEGO Icons, but still on the box it is going to say Creator Expert. So that's why I'm just referring to it as both at the moment. But there is seven that we are going to be going over today, and that is the Fiat 500, the Old Trafford Manchester United Stadium, the Elf Clubhouse, the Volkswagen T2 camper van, the Adidas Original Superstars, the Camp Now, the Barcelona Stadium, and the Queer Eye, the Fab Five Lock. So they're the seven we are going to be going over today, and I'm going to be giving just a quick overview of my thoughts on these sets for investment purposes. So we're going to be kicking off this video going over the Fiat 500. Now in Australia it retails for 140 bucks, the US it is 90, and in the UK it is 70 pounds. This is set number 10271. It has 960 pieces with, it doesn't have any mini figures at all. Now let's just go over the shelf life of the set because that is one of the main factors we want to consider before making a decision whether we invest in a set or not. Because obviously the longer a set has been out, usually the more supply that there is going to be. And we always want less supply and more demand. So we're going to go over to Brick Set. And as we can see over in this side here, it was released in March of 2020. And it will be retiring at the end of the year. Now all these sets will be retiring at the end of the year. Because they're the only ones I want to be looking at investing in. I don't want to be spending money on a set that's going to retire in two years. Because that's just wasteful money. You do not want to be doing that as an investor. So I'm going to be going over all these sets because they are retiring. And as I said, this one was released on March 2020, and it is going to be retiring at the end of this year, being 2022, meaning it would have been out for about two years and nine months, which is kind of around that spot for the bigger sets. They're usually out for around two to three years. Anything longer than that, you want to be just doing extensive research on to make sure that there is definitely demand there and there isn't much supply. But th this set is it is in that sweet spot for shelf life that we don't have to worry really at all for the shelf life and it being out for too long. So that's fine. All right, now let's go and have a look at the supply of the set. So we're gonna go over a few different things to um, go over the supply. So we're gonna go over to Bricklink and we can see that in the current items for sale, the total lots, that is the individual sellers, there is 148 and, in, and the total quantity is 78. So you've got 148 individual sellers and between them they'd have listed 782 of these set. Now we're going to have a look at eBay and we're going to see how many listings there are in eBay. Now remember I'm in Australia, this is eBay Australia. So I have filtered this for, like, uh, for Australia only and condition new. And we can see that we've got, I'm only doing individual pieces here. So I've got one, that's a group, so we're not going to count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count these ones. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there's about 27. And yes, this does come in blue, but it is very hard to get in Australia. That's why it's worth a little bit more. But anyway, there's about 27 listed on eBay as well so we can see that there is a good chunk of sets on eBay to buy and another way we can look is obviously go back to the Lego store itself and sets you are looking at investing in you want to always keep tabs on the Lego store and see if it ever goes out of stock if it does go out of stock that means that there is demand for the set and that that is really good and also depending on how long a set is out of stock for meaning that you'll be able to see how much supply there is as well so this set is never out of stock that I have noticed anyway and there is a current limit of five and also so you can also check any other retailers that do stock this set. So this set is actually not really available at many other retailers at all. It is kind of very hard to find, which is good because that means the supply is going to be low. So we can see from the supply for this set, there definitely is supply because it's not out of stock. And as we seen on Bricklink, there's over 782 individual sets on there between 148 sellers and there is about 27 listed on eBay. So there definitely is supply on there. So obviously the supply, it isn't, there's not, not, not a shitload of these sets on the market, which is definitely not what you want, but there definitely isn't limited supply either. So we can kind of probably put it about on the average to supply. And if we go and have a look at the demand now, now how much demand is for this set? Now, a way you can tell this as well is obviously by the limit of, uh, of five. Again, you, can, you don't need to go off too much of a limit on the, the Lego website because it can be a bit iffy but you can also obviously check for supply if it is out of stock all the time which this one there isn't 
And we can also check on Bricklink onto how many have sold in the last six months, which we do have 31. So 31 times sold, which is to individual people, and 53 quantities. So we can see that like this, this person bought two, this person bought two, this person bought four, etc. So we can say 31 people did buy it between, and 53 sets were actually sold. So there is demand for this set, there definitely is. And also we can go and have a look at eBay and convert this to sold items. And I will change this to new and Australia only. And we can see that there has been 12 sold. So there is definitely demand for this set. Now, will I be investing in this set? I'll go over my overall thoughts now. So it is definitely a set you should be looking at, I reckon, because it's not going to be out for that long. Other sets like this, like your cars and stuff, like especially the T1 camper van, it hasn't performed well, but that's because it was out for a very long time. And this gives me kind of the, the, the Mini Cooper vibes, which is this set here, as we can see here. Now, this set was released in 2014, and it did retire in 2019, so it was out for a lot longer than what the fee it is. And this is on Brick Economy. It's not 100% accurate, but it just gives a, a rough average for us. And we can see that it has had a growth of 150% return on investment, and that's at retail price as well. And if you obviously had a board of discount, it would be higher. So I do believe if this set is going to be a good set for investing, especially if you get it at that 20% discount, that probably in 12 to 18 months after retirement, you will be picking up about 80%, 100% return on investment, which is what you want. So I will be picking up a few of these sets and let me know what you guys think down below as well. Now we're going over the Old Trafford Manchester United Stadium. Now this set does retail in Australia for 450 bucks. In the US it is 300 and in the UK it is 245 pounds. Set number 10272, 3,898 pieces. Now the shelf life of this set, let's go have a geese. So back to brick set and we can see that it was released on February 1st, 2020. And it, did, it is going to retire at the end of the year obviously, which means it would have been out for about two years and 10 months. So just shy of three years before it retires which as I said, it's in between that two and three years, so that is fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. Now let's go and have a look at the supply for this set. We'll go back to the Lego store. We can see that there is a limit of five, and this set is usually always in stock. On Bricklink, we can see that there is 80 individual sellers with 172 uh, quantity available for purchase on there as well. And on eBay, we can see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can keep scrolling, and it's gonna be about that 23 number which you can see up the top here. So there definitely is supply for this set as well. Obviously not as much as the Fiat, but this is a more expensive set. But the, the most important thing is the demand. Is there actually demand for it? So let's go back to Bricklink and we can see that in the last six months, there's been eight sold. So compared to the Fiat, which had 31, this has a lot less demand than the Fiat. And a set isn't going to go up in value if it doesn't have any, if it doesn't have any demand, if it doesn't have anyone that wants to buy it. So, there isn't much demand for this set. And if we go to eBay sold listings as well, we can see that there's been seven sold. So again, a lot less than what the Fiat had. Yes, it is a bigger set and bit more expensive sets will obviously won't sell as many, but for this set, it's too much of a niche product. Like obviously it's Manchester United, which is uh, soccer or football, whatever you want to call it. It is mainly for fans of that club. As Liverpool supporter myself, I'm not going to touch this set. But it is a niche product for football slash soccer fans. Obviously, it is a beautiful looking set and other people may want it too. But it is just too niche for me to want to be investing in this set. So I won't be touching this set for investment purposes. Right, and now we're moving on to the Elf Clubhouse. Set number 10275, 1,197 pieces. In Australia, it retails for 150 bucks. The US is 100 and in the UK, it is 80 pounds. Now we're going to take a look at the shelf life again for this set. If I can find my bloody mouse, there we go. So back over to Brick Set, we can see it was released in October of 2020. We'll be retiring at the end of the year, which means it would have had a shelf life of just a little over two years, which is average for these Winter Village Collection sets. So that's fine. No issues with the shelf life at all. And if we go and have a look at the supply, we can see that there is 214 lots, so 214 sellers, and 2,312 individual sets between those sellers. So like this bloke here, for example, has 999, like ridiculous. But anywho, so there definitely is a good chunk of supply on Bricklink for this set. And if we go over to eBay and have a look at the supply, we can see that there is 44 results. This is, again, condition new items in Australia. Some of these will be the light kit for this set, and some will be like the double packs as well, like this one here. But you can see a majority of these are actually 
on here as well so we could probably count out a few and just say there's probably about like 38 37 results so there is definitely more supply for this set than any of the ones we've looked at before now let's go and have a look at the demand so we can see that there is a limit of two on this one and it usually is in stock sometimes out of stock but not really and on Bricklink, we can see that there was 19 times sold for a total quantity of 105. So that means that 19 individual people or whatnot have purchased this set. And between them, they've bought 105. So this person, there was five bought. This, there was four bought, etc., etc. We can scroll down and see, look, this, this person bought 60, for example. But anyway, there's been 19 individual buyers um, that have bought this set in the last six months. And on eBay, if we scroll down and go to the sold items, we can see that there was... Scroll down, one, two, three, four. So not as much demand as the Fiat. But however, I do like this set because it is a part of that Winter Village collection. And it is kind of like the modulars in that regard. They do release one every year and they usually do retire one every year. And they usually do okay on the aftermarket as well. So we can see that this one here had a 74% growth. Remember, this is brick economy, so it's not 100% accurate. It's just a rough average and it's an easy way to look at all these sets together and a rough uh, return on investment as well. So Senna's Workshop, 139. The Winter Toy Shop, 193%. The Winter Village, uh, the Holiday Train was 57%. The Winter Village Station was 121%. Uh, the Winter Village Fire Station, that hasn't had much growth at all. The Gingerbread House has only just retired. And we scroll down, these two are currently, and we've got a few more as well. We can see the 173, 347, 445, and 236% return on investment. So on average, pretty much a majority of the Winter Village sets will do okay, and will usually do better than double what they were on retail price. So if you can get this set at at least probably 20% off, or if failing that, get it on the LEGO store with like a free gift or something to bring that cost down. It is definitely a set that you should be looking at investing in as well, but make sure you do your own research. Don't take my advice as gospel. Don't take my word as gospel because I could be wrong. Every, anyone can be wrong. It's completely up to you what you invest in, but this is a set. Yeah, there is um, no, not as much demand, just say, as the Fiat, and there is a lot more supply, but on average, these sets usually do do well, and it does have four exclusive minifigures as well. So have a look and see what you guys think and let me know down below. Next we move on to the Volkswagen T2 camper van, set number 10279, 2207 pieces and it retails for 270 bucks here in Australia, 180 in the US and in the UK it is 140. Now let's go take a look at the shelf life. Now obviously this is T2 camper van, we did have the T1 camper van which is out for a shit ton of time, but this set's different. This was released in August of 2021 and retiring at the end of the year so pretty much a little over one year this set's going to be out and compared to the set that come before at the t1 camper van which was out for like about seven or eight years or something this is a lot shorter shelf life meaning the supply is going to be a lot lower because it wasn't out for that long but let's go and have a look at the supply so bricklink we can see that there are 66 lots so 66 sellers and between them there's 327 sets that they are selling and on ebay we can see that there is 22 so there is not as much as supply as, say, the Elf Club house, but there is still a little bit of supply for the set, which is fine. And on uh, the LEGO website, there is a limited two, and it usually is in stock, this set as well. But now let's take a look at the, the demand. There is 25 sold in the last six months, so higher than a few of the other ones that we have looked at, so that is a good sign. And if we go back and we do change this to sold items, we can see that there was seven, which is one, two, three, four... Not going to count that, not going to count that, not going to count that. They're just the lighting kits and display cases. So I bet uh, four sold on eBay as well. Oh, actually three, sorry, not this one as well. They're actually about three sold on eBay. And as I said, it usually is in stock on the Lego store as well. So there is definitely demand for it. Not like... Uh, like a shit ton of demand but there definitely is demand for this set as well now it does have a very short shelf life which is a good sign compared to the other one and i do like these uh creator expert slash icons cars as well uh, they are a bit hit and miss like the ferrari has done well the as i said the mini cooper has done well and some haven't done well like the original t1 camper van but that was out for a very long time so i do like this set and I probably will be investing in it, not going too deep into it, but I might pick up a few here and there. 
Next, we're going to be looking at the Adidas Original Superstars, set number 10282, 731 pieces, and it does retail in Australia for 160 bucks, the US for 80, and in the UK for 80 pounds as well. And if we go and have a look at the shelf life for this set, it came out uh, July last year, and it is retiring at the end of this year, so it would have been out for about a year and a half, give or take. Now, obviously, this set doesn't have minifigures either, but we're going to go have a look at the supply. So, how much supply is there? A lot. So we've got 166 individual sellers, and between them they have pretty much 1,500 uh, pieces, like um, individual sets they are selling, and on eBay there is 38. So obviously some of these may not, but a majority of them actually are. So you've got about 38 on eBay, and a good chunk on Bricklink as well, and on here there is a limited two, and it actually is on discount. Now, if a set is on discount of the LEGO store, that usually means they have a bit and they're trying to get rid of it. So, which is not a good sign for investing purposes. So let's go have a look at the demand, and we can see that, that, that actually on Bricklink, there's been 22 individual buyers, and between them they bought 53 sets. So we'll just go 22, essentially, have been paid for on Bricklink. And on eBay, if we do filter this to sold items, we can see that there has been 17 bought, so that's pretty good, actually. But if you have a look, compared to the retail price, that's the main thing, which is 160 it is selling well below retail price and well below that 20% off mark, which is, for investing purposes, is not a great sign. Obviously, you can pick it up for cheap, which is good if you want to build it. But for investing purposes, I wouldn't be touching this set, simply because it's not that collectible. It's, it doesn't, yeah, it is pretty cool, but in my opinion, it's not that collectible. There is a lot of supply, and the fact that it is on discount on the LEGO store, I don't like that at all, so I won't be touching it. Now we'll go over to the Camp Now, FC Barcelona Stadium, set number 10284, 5,509 pieces, and in Australia it retails for 500 bucks. In the US it is 350, and in the UK it is 290 pounds. Now the shelf life for this set, and obviously this does kind of match with the Manchester United Stadium as well. This obviously has a lot more pieces. But we can see that it was released in September last year, and it is retiring at the end of this year. So again, just a little bit over a year shelf life. So a very short shelf life, which is good for investing purposes. However, we can see that the supply for this set, we've got 53 individual sellers, and between them they're selling 243. And on eBay, there is seven. So not as much supply as the other ones, but remember this set is bigger and there is going to be less supply of a bigger set than a smaller set. But the demand is what we want to look at and we can see that there has been five sold in the last six months. And if we compare that to eBay as well, sold items, two, two. So the demand for this set is the pretty much the lowest that we've seen so far. And again, it's on special on the Lego store, so Red Flag's investing for this set. And again, it's kind of that niche Lego set as well for Barcelona football slash soccer fans. So investment-wise, I am advising you not to touch it. Do as you wish, but I won't be investing in this set. And finally, we move on to the Queer Eye Fab 5 Loft, set number 10291, 974 pieces. This set does have um, seven minifigures, and they are all exclusive. So let's go and have a look at this, uh, uh, the shelf life. So we can see it was released October last year, retiring the end of this year, so a little bit over that year shelf life as well, which is um, very good for investing purposes as well. Uh, we can see that there is 90 individual sellers on Bricklink, between them 617 uh, sets they do have, and on eBay there is 21, so there definitely is a bit of supply for, for the set, N not as much as some other sets, but there is some, some supply. And if we go to back to Bricklink for the, check the demand, there has been 12 sold in the last six months, so not that many. And comparing that to eBay as well, go to sold items, there has been about eight. About eight sold. So there is more demand for this than the Barcelona Stadium. And if we go and have a look at Lego, it's actually minus 30% off on the Lego store, and I don't like that at all. Plus, I didn't even know what the hell this show is. I've never even heard of it until I researched for this video about this show. And I don't even know if it's big in Australia. I've never heard of it. Anyone that, everyone that I know has never heard of this show. It's obviously not gonna be as iconic, say, as the Friends Cafe 
or stuff like the the new office set that's going to be coming out or like the older set similar to this which is like the big bang theory and stuff like that so because the collectability it's not going to be there i don't think in my opinion i don't know what this set is it's always on discount uh heavily discounted as well for the Le for lego store standards so i won't be touching this set either but let me know down below if you'll be touching this set and if you do enjoy the show because i've got no idea but anyway guys, that was my investment review on all of the LEGO Icon slash Creator Expert sets that will be retiring by the end of the year. If you disagree with me, that's fine. If you agree with me, that's fine. We've all got different opinions and that's what this video is about. It's about bringing us all together, getting a different perspective on what I think investment wise for these sets and leave your thoughts down below for your perspective on these sets investment wise as well. And also make sure to join the Facebook group and we can discuss this more as well. Because we can all learn together, give each other's tips, and we want to make money. Because that's why we do this. We want to be successful. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Let me know down below if there's any other videos you do want me to make. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on these sets. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.